part of Martina's exchange program is she has to get service hours. So we actually went to the library because Martina loves books and things like that. So we found that she could be a part of the international language language club that they have there where um, different speakers from different nationalities and things like that come and they learn English. And so Martina is participating in that. I'm not sure if she loves it yet because I think they're asking her to do a few things that she wasn't expecting, meaning like they say that she's a really good English speaker, but she can also speak Spanish very well. And so they want to teach and use her as like a translator. And I don't think she's very keen on it, which I don't blame her for that because she actually thought she was going there to like learn about English more? I don't, I don't actually know, but that's what we did today is we, we made a special trip to Eastside Bagel to get some bagels and then we went to the library and then afterwards Adam and I did a bunch of yard work. Here's a before and after of our awesome garden that he was doing this year and last year I think. Did I mention that the Miglarati's got a new dog? Cooper, super cute. Uh, of course, I had to bring Eleanor over to meet Mr. Cooper. Uh, I hopefully they could be good friends. Uh, I don't know how big Cooper's gonna get, so I'm a little little scared about it. But I so Eleanor went over to play a little while, and then I headed out to the Ann Arbor area, and I had a photo shoot. The photo shoot was actually with my cousin Eric and his wife Marika and their little boy, and so we did the photo shoot. And then afterwards, I stopped at a place in Plymouth and I walked around to go shopping. I just haven't been feeling good these last few days. So I thought some like, you know, retail therapy, I think that's what they call it, would help me. Did it? I don't know. We'll see. Hi, what's going on? Um, life is good. I've been busy um, getting Martina to school, to and from school, um, working. Actually, I'm waiting on a session right now. Look at the leaves. Aren't they beautiful? It's so pretty. Um, and I don't know, life is life. Life is good. I don't really know what to say. I feel like it's been a long time since I talked to my vlog. <laughs> but here I am talking to you guys now. It's great, isn't it? Um, last night or the night before, um, I posted on Instagram about, um, Jenna said something to me that like stuck with me. And so I Googled it and it turned out to be uh, a Fred Rogers, uh, Mr. Rogers quote. If it is mentionable, then it's manageable. And that got me thinking a lot about life and how most people who suffer from like depression or seasonal depression, like I do, um, don't talk about it because it's, you know, it's something you just sweep under the rug or if someone's depressed, you don't actually talk about it. You're just like, oh, why can't they be happy? Well, seasonal depression is real and um, I do suffer from it and I know I suffer from it and I have taken the necessary steps to help prevent my seasonal depression from getting worse or continuing on throughout the entire year. So there's that. Um, part of the help that I've gotten is I did therapy and I started therapy a long time ago, but also like I talked to my therapist and then I also went on medicine, um, antidepressant medicine, which I've been on it now for a few years. But I started doing that, which has been very helpful for me. Um, and yeah, also talking to my friends, being there for them and them for me has helped me out a lot. So that's what's going on in my life right now. I am struggling very hard um, with my seasonal depression and I am trying to overcome it. So that's where I am now. Fun, right?